Hey everyone, it's Dee here for the sign of Sagittarius for love for February 2019. This is a bonus reading. Um, if you follow me, you know I'm an intuitive medium Reiki master. And we usually do Reiki at the end of our videos from our generals in the beginning of the month. But we're not going to be doing Reiki here, but I do have a present for you. You know I usually give away free readings in our general readings. Um, but this time I'm actually going to give you a Valentine's Day gift because February is the month of love. So I wanted to come on and do some some love readings but if you do like these bonus readings and you want me to continue could you please leave me a comment below to let me know that you want me to do some bonus readings I might you know I can get creative with them maybe do something about money family um, different things so just let me know if you like these bonus readings with the comments below okay and then stay to the end um, for your gift that I have for you for Valentine's Day okay all right, let's get into it. So I was trying to tap into your energy before this, and I feel there's blockage, okay? I feel like there's you're blocking something. Um, it could be by, it could be like taking a step to move forward. Um, it could be taking a step to get out of a relationship. It could be taking a step to get into a relationship. Although, this is telling me, single. So, you know, maybe it could be taking a step to get out of a relationship or to move on from a relationship. Um, and you're being blocked. And I feel as though the blockage is coming from the thought patterns that are in your head. Um, you're focusing more on the person that you've left or has left you behind or you want to leave instead of focusing on yourself. Queen of Cups. Focus on you. Okay? Um... Focus on your energy. Bring the love back to you. And you got the two of wands here. So again, remember, this is a general reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check out your moon and rising signs. And I will be specific throughout the, if, throughout the reading if I feel as though it's for singles or if it's for couples. If I don't be specific, then it's for both, okay? I feel like there's two ways that you can go here. You can go down the road... And this is also if you're in a relationship, okay? Just take it resonating in a different way. If you're in a relationship, you might be focusing so much on your partner that you're losing yourself. So either way, this can resonate. But there's two ways that you can go here. You can choose to keep doing what you're doing and blocking yourself by focusing on something that is not serving you, okay? So if you're, if you're breaking up or if you're single, you're focusing so much on finding somebody, finding somebody, rather than focusing in on you and living your life and your happiness and doing things that make you happy. Um, if you're dating somebody, you know, this is about you focusing on them so much that again, you're losing yourself that you, you know, you can't move forward. Um, and if you're broken up with somebody, it's like you can't move forward because you're too busy focusing on what they're doing when you need to just be focusing on you. It's literally, like I use the analogy of um, VCR tapes. If you remember with VCR tapes, you could like pull the tape out and then you can never watch it again. Well, that's exactly what needs to happen. If you're going through a breakup or are thinking about breaking up, you need to forget about the partner. You need to forget about who you were with, what they did, how great it was. You need to look at the lessons that you learned in the relationship and take that and move forward with that. Because you got the moon. And for me, there's shadows, there's darkness there. If you're in a relationship here, you know, and you're constantly questioning what's happening, why you feel the way that you do, why they're acting the way that they are, there's, there's some darkness there. There's some shadows, there's some shadiness, um... And it could just be that you guys aren't meant to be together. It could be that they're hiding something. It could be that it could just be insecurities, right? So don't, don't get all crazy and think that your, your person's cheating on you because and that's not what I'm saying. But I feel like they have me all over the place, so I'm trying to ask them to focus in. There definitely is a third party situation going on with some of you out there and I don't want to, if you have never thought it before, then this message is not for you. So don't freak out. Um, this is, if you're questioning, if somebody's cheating on you, then this is probably the answer here, okay? 
So, um, but only if you've been questioning it, do not start questioning it because I say that. That's why I don't like to say things like that, but it's very plain as day right there. So I do have to spread the message that they want me to say. Okay. What other messages do we have for the sign of Sagittarius for February, 2019 with love? Yeah, five of swords. So stabbed in the back here. So if you're in a relationship, okay, and if you're in a happy relationship, this message is not for you, <laughs> okay? Um, but I'm talking to the people because I feel like there's a lot of you that are unhappy in a relationship or have just broken up from a relationship um, or single and looking for that relationship. This is what needs to be healed, the five of swords. When you feel this energy and somebody's cheating on you or somebody has cheated on you, you know, you feel stabbed in the back and this affects you and it affects the relationship going forward and it affects other relationships going forward. So say if somebody cheated on you and you broke up, it still affects other relationships going forward. This is what needs to heal here with the knives in the back. This is the energy that is still sitting with you, whether you're in a relationship or not. If you have been affected by somebody that manipulated you, cheated on you, broken up with you, you're still feeling like you were stabbed in the back. And that is the energy that needs to be healed before you can move forward and have a good relationship with somebody. Even the person that you're with. Because you're the trust issues, right? When you don't have trust, what kind of relationship do you have? And trust is very hard to be, um, you know earned back. It has to be earned and it's not going to be an easy thing and it's not going to be a quick thing either. Okay. All right. Religious factors here. So you have your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. This card is telling me to listen to your intuition. You don't need me to sit here and tell you the issues within your relationship or the issues with your past relationships. You already know this. So use your intuition. Use the knowledge that you have within to make better choices, to make choices to take the steps to heal from whatever you've been through. And then some of you, you know, have children here and it says your love life is being affected by children. Some of you are staying together just for the children. What are you showing the children by staying together? The type of relationship you have is not what kind of relationship you want your children to have. But I do understand that some of you can't leave, you know, due to children, due to finances, due to all of that. Um, and if you are stuck in a situation like that, it's, bringing it back to spiritualism, it's, it's bringing spirituality, I guess. Um, it's being able to take detach, right? That's what they're saying. Detach. It's being able to detach yourself from the situation that you're in. Yes, you're stuck. Yes, you can't go on or can't move on. You can't move out, you know, maybe financially. Get a plan together. That's for one thing. But if you are just stuck and you have to rely on this person to live, um, maybe they've put you in that position, whatever it is for you, but use your spirituality in order to detach from the situation so that it doesn't bring you resentment and anger every single day and live with the acceptance of this is where I'm at and I choose to be grateful that I even have this available to me and that, you know, it sucks, but at the same time, I'm still being taken care of. So I'm going to detach my emotions and I'm going to pull my cord away from this person that hurts me, manipulates me, and I'm going to move forward with my life within the situation that I'm in is the message that they're giving me. I hope that resonates with you. Okay, what other message do we have for the sign of Sagittarius for February in love 2019, please?
So you have embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. So that's accepting. That's accepting what you have going on right now. And then you have, so this is that card. It's actually pretty. And then you have choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. And you can choose love. You could choose love to move on, to move forward. You could choose love to heal yourself so that you can give more love when the right person comes along. You can choose love within the situation of being stuck too. You know, I choose to love my children and focus on them rather than focus on the bullshit that's going on between me and my partner. Okay, so that is the message that I have for you. I hope it resonates with you. Again, if you like these little bonus readings, just get, leave me a comment below and let me know. Um, and if you have any ideas, if you want me to do some readings on something, let me know. I am here for you. Speaking of, I have a Valentine's Day gift for you. As you know, I have a membership group going on um, and every week we meet and we do, um, we get a message from spirit and we do Reiki uh, healing. So we didn't do Reiki healing here, but in the gift I'm going to give you, you actually have a longer session of Reiki. So it's actually more beneficial than what we do in the general reads. Um, so a few weeks ago, we talked about breakups and ghosting. And if you've ever been broken up with, or if you've ever been ghosted, which is somebody just completely disappearing on you and not communicating with you at all. Um, and spirit came through, gave us a really good message. I think this is a very powerful session that we had and I wanted to share it with you because it is Valentine's day. And a lot of people are, you know, do are dealing with heartbreak and breakups and can't getting, can't get over their exes and all of that stuff. And I thought this was a powerful session that we had. Um, so in the description box below, there is a link to that video so that you can check out what spirit had to say as well as the healing. So if you like the healings in the general reads, then you will definitely like this in the video. Okay. Um, so that is my gift from me to you. You don't have to do anything except click that link and watch the video. All right. So, um, much love to you. I hope you have a, Oh, uh, I am giving away, not giving away. I'm sorry. In the Facebook group, uh, D's divine guidance VIPs. Um, I am going live on Valentine's Day. So if you are single or if you're in a relationship where you're not doing anything on Valentine's Day, I'm giving away love readings. So live. So if you want to come over into the VIP Facebook group, it's 830 Eastern Standard Time on Valentine's Day. So I hope you can join me over there. All right. Much love to you. Happy Valentine's Day. Even if you're single, embrace it. You know, it's not a bad thing to be single. And if you are coupled up, go enjoy your day, reconnect with your loved one, um, and I hope you have a wonderful February. I will talk to you guys soon.